Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be talking about everything that you guys need to know about the upcoming LR Super Saiyan God Goku and Hit that's going to be dropping on Global in about 32 hours from the time this video comes out. We'll be talking about their unit details, of course the banner, um, their animations, the new category, and all that good stuff to hopefully help you guys decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned Dragon Stones to try to pull them when the banner releases. So, with that said, let's uh, jump right into it. And before we actually get into the banner, let's pop over to the official Global Dokkan Twitter page here and watch their animations. Now, I do have a lot of opinions about these animations, but I'll save that for after uh, you guys see it. Okay, so uh, yeah, without further ado, let's... Uh, turn up the volume a little bit, and here we go. Well, Goku, you are making good progress. But I'm still not going to lose to someone like you. Now this is where the real fight begins. <laughs> this is getting fun! Okay, so... <laughs> First thing I gotta say is I'm not a big fan of the English voice acting. The Japanese one is much better, so um, that's not gonna be a problem if you obviously have the setting to Japanese voices, right? But my main problem with the animations is just uh, they change the style from like the normal animation style that we've been using you know, for a long time now, and it doesn't look good to me. Of course, that's my personal opinion. Maybe some people really like it, and that's fine. That's just how you see things. But to my eyes, man, like it's just not a good style. It's not a good change, and uh, you know, it's especially bad when you get to the 18 key animation, and you have the part where Goku goes blue, and it's these punches, man. Hold on, let me see if I can get forward a bit here. Uh, it's this part right here. Like that's just that's just bad. It it does not look like it's made by a company that's making billions of dollars <laughs> off this one game. Obviously like other games too, but they're making a lot of money off Dokkan and you would think that um for a company that has as many resources as uh Akatsuki slash Bandai, especially, that uh it would be a little bit better animated, I guess. So that's why, like, <laughs> I'm not really too hyped about this LR, if I'm being honest, man. Um, the unit itself is is quite good, which uh, we'll talk about more in detail later on. But just from a animations perspective, uh, we're not off to the greatest start. To me, of course, in my opinion, once again. So, uh, of course, let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. If you like them, that's cool. If you don't like them, tell me why you uh, aren't a big fan of them just like i am okay so now we're gonna move on to the banner and uh, as you can see this was the jp banner that came out i want to say like a good five or six months ago maybe it wasn't that long but it feels like it's been a while and uh, when it dropped on jp this was just a regular legendary summon banner now when it comes to global it's gonna be a double rates rising dragon carnival banner with a uh, free elder kai with every summon so it is definitely gonna be a better banner but i think the featured units will be essentially the same so of course we have one new unit on the banner which is the lr super saiyan god goku and hit and the rest of the featured pool is going to be comprised of uh, a lot of non dokkan best units from the universe survival saga category right so we got uh, actually a lot of really solid units like 
the Super Saiyan Blue Gokus, the uh, Kefla, Kale and Khaliflas, um, Berserk Kale, uh, Bados is a solid support unit, and Champa actually is uh, also a really good support, but he doesn't really do too much outside of that. But the point is, uh, there are some very solid non Dokkan Fest units featured on this banner, but as always, the problem with these units is that they are available on literally every banner in the game, so you don't really have to summon specifically on this banner to try to get them. Uh, I would say the best unit on this banner outside of the LR hit and Super Saiyan God Goku would be the Fizz Kefla. Um, now she doesn't have an Extreme Z Awakening on Global yet, but once she does get it, she is absolutely amazing. So she would be a really good pull. Um, outside of that, the Kalen Khalifla, especially this uh, Tech Khalifla, is amazing for many events in the game because she gets guaranteed dodge against a couple of categories. And uh, this Super Saiyan Blue Goku with the Extreme Z Awakening is really impressive. So uh, yeah, some good stuff here, but once again, they are available on every single banner, so you don't really have to chase them here. And uh, of course, just like every other Legendary Summon banner, we have every other non token Fest LR available here, from uh, you No know, Kalen Khalifla to Tech Broly to UI Goku, uh, Rose, uh, not LR Janemba because he's missing on Global right now, but we got Bardock, you know. The LR Androids, Broly Trio, and so on and so forth. So we do have a chance to pull these guys as well um, as unfeatured units, although the chances are somewhat lower. But because it's a double rates banner, you do have double the chance to pull uh, both featured units and unfeatured units. So as far as hunting LRs goes, as far as chasing LRs, um, it's going to be a pretty decent banner for that. And uh, overall, I'm going to say... I mean, for a Legendary Summon banner, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, the Featured Pool is better than average, and of course with the double rates, you do have a much better chance to pull both LR Hit and uh, Super Saiyan God Goku, as well as the other Featured units, and also a higher chance to pull these uh, unfeatured LRs. So if I were to rate this banner at a 10, uh, it gets a solid... I guess 7. I would give it a 7 out of 10, which is much higher than average for a uh, Legendary Summon banner, but because of the double rates, because of the solid featured pool, um, and also the free Kai as well, that's nice, uh, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. But that being said, it's still not nearly as good as uh, most Dokkan Fest banners in the game, as well as, of course, major celebrations like Dual Dokkan Fest and stuff like that. So that is the uh, LR Super Saiyan God Goku and Hit Banner. Now moving on from there, we have the actual unit itself. The leader skill is Accelerated Battle, which is the new category they're bringing over, or Universe Survival Saga, key plus 4, HP, Attack, and Defense, plus 150%. And uh, taking a look at the Accelerated Battle category, uh, supposedly it consists of characters that displayed an astounding speed. Now. Uh, this is a pretty subjective thing, because obviously you could argue that most characters in Dragon Ball are pretty damn fast, right? So there are definitely going to be some characters that I think many people feel like are missing here that should be in the category, and then maybe there's some other characters that are here that don't make as much sense, but it's Dokkan, it's a Dokkan category, so... It's uh, always going to be like that, but with that said, I think overall is actually a pretty solid category. So of course the main leader, the only leader right now, is the LR Super Saiyan God Goku and Hit. And uh, moving on to the LRs, we have a bunch of really good LRs like the UI Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, uh, Int God Goku, Vegito, Rose, Cell, uh, UI Goku, Vegito, and so on and so forth. And then for the TURs, also a lot of really great options. I'm not going to really, you know, highlight all of them, but you guys can see there are a lot of great Goku options. Uh, you got some good villains as well for an extreme team. And uh, here's just a quick look at the category overall. Like I said, um, one of the better new categories, it might not be as good as Bond of Friendship, or maybe it's somewhat comparable. Um, 
Yeah, maybe they're pretty even. I'm not sure, but Bond of Friendship was was quite good, right? The Kaelin Khalifa category. And uh, I would say this is pretty much on par. If not, maybe slightly better. I'm not too sure right now. I gotta think about that one. But yeah, the point is, good category. Good category. So that is Accelerated Battle. And uh, going back to the details now, their 12 key super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage with a high chance to stun the enemy. And then their 18 key super greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage with a high chance to stun the enemy. Now before we talk about the passive, I'll give you guys a better look at the card art effect here. Um, I think it's okay. I think it's okay, but just like the animations, I think they could have been done better. Um, I mean, I feel like the yeah card art effect, the LR effect could have also been uh, of higher quality, if you will. I'm not. I'm trying to not like be too negative here, but it's just like it's just how I feel, man. It's just how I feel. I feel like just overall the quality, the um, visuals of this card are just a little bit lacking compared to what uh, we've become accustomed to, what we've become used to with uh, new Dokkan LRs these days, right? So anyways, moving on to the passive. <laughs> uh, attack and defense plus 170%, key plus 6, plus an additional attack and defense plus 60%, attacks guaranteed to hit, disables enemy's guard, and high chance to evade enemy's attacks, including super attacks, as the first or second attacker in a turn. And then, key plus 7, attack plus 70% when attacking, and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack as the third attacker in a turn. So this is kind of an interesting passive. Essentially, they do different things based on where they are in the rotation. In the first or second slot, they are better defensively, but they're not going to do as much damage because they don't get that second attack that has a medium chance of being a super but uh, they do have better defense with the additional 60% defense. Whereas in the uh, third slot, they are much better offensively, although not as good defensively since they get more key in the third slot, more attack, but they don't get as much defense. They also don't have the high chance to dodge. So it really depends on how you want to use this unit. It depends on uh, what you're going for, I guess. If you want more offense, then put them in the third slot. If you want them to be a better defender, and have the chance to dodge, then put them in the first or second slot. The choice is, of course, up to you, but overall, I think they are a uh, pretty well-rounded unit. And for their active skill, it gives them attack and defense, plus 13% in battle. Now, this might seem kind of low, but it actually applies for the rest of the fight, so there's uh, no turn restriction on it, which is pretty awesome. And the condition for activating this active skill is uh, your HP has to be 76% or less after performing three or more super attacks in battle once only. So of course we don't like these uh, you know X amount of super attacks performed conditions, but three super attacks is not unreasonable in my opinion. So uh, I would say that's a okay condition. Not the best, but by far not the worst that we've seen. And their links are Terminal of Power, Experienced Fighters, Cold Judgment, Infighter, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. And their categories are Universe Survival Saga, Joint Forces, Legendary Existence, and Accelerated Battle. Only four categories because of course they are a Joint Forces unit and most Joint Forces units just don't really fit in that many categories, unfortunately. And uh, lastly, their additional 70% attack boost is calculated separately for a total boost of attack plus 359% as the third attacker in a turn. So once again, in the third slot, as the third attacker, they will hit really hard, especially with the additional attacks. And uh, as the first or second attacker, they won't hit as hard, but they will have much more defensive abilities, right? So uh, that is the LR Super Saiyan God Goku and hit for you. Um, as I said, I think it's a really well-rounded unit. I think it's a really powerful unit. And if the animations and the card effect don't bother you too much, then it's definitely a great unit to have in your collection for your Universe Survival Saga team, or obviously as the uh, leader for the new Accelerated Battle category. So 
uh that pretty much does it for today's video guys um we went through the category we went through the unit details we looked at the animations talked about the banner and uh, in terms of a recommendation at this point usually i would hope that you guys have enough information to make a decision for yourselves but in my opinion um i think that it's a okay banner to drop some stones in if you want the Goku and hit because of the double rates and because of the free Kai um, and obviously you do have a decent chance of pulling other unfeatured LRs because of the double rates so uh, the value of the banner is actually not bad uh, if it was a regular banner if it was just like a you know standard legendary summon banner I would just tell everybody to skip but because of the double rates I think you know, doing a couple multis couldn't hurt. Um, I would say like three to four at most would be a good idea because we do have the Tenabata banner, we have the Super Vegeta banner, we have, you know, probably like Janemba at some point, right? LR Janemba. We have uh, a bunch of other just better Dokkan Fest banners and dual Dokkan Fest around the corner for New Year's and all that stuff. So uh, definitely this is not a banner you want to spend too many stones on. But once again, if you want to chase out Lars, if you want the Super Saiyan God Goku and hit, then a couple multis wouldn't hurt. It's not like a, you know, complete skip or a easy skip for me at least, but it might be for some people who don't care about this unit, right? So the choice is ultimately up to you, but uh, that's how I feel about it. And uh, that's the video, guys. Hopefully it helped you a little bit in making that decision. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are planning to summon. And if so, then how many stones are you going to be spending? And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger, Uppercut Media, signing out.